It's me. Tay from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Well, as usual, I woke up in the morning. Well, I guess that's sort of a strange statement. But anyway, I woke up in the morning. And, uh, you know, I woke up early and I took my, my pills and stuff like that. I didn't take, I usually don't take my moringa with my pills. I take my moringa, moringa bitters, that is. Moringa bitters. I usually don't take it, I take it, I take it odd hours, but usually in the morning, sometime in the morning. It's still morning. It's late morning right now. I'm telling you, this stuff, I'm telling you, if nothing else this pandemic has taught me, man, you know, there's something to those old men when they took their bitters. Take, do your bitters. They say once a day, twice a day, whatever it is. When I first learned about bitters, I was in, a, I was in, a, where was it, in the Belize? No, no, I was in Livingston, Guatemala, which is Belize, Livingston, Guatemala, right across the, the thing, right across the Gulf of Honduras. So not Gulf of Honduras, yeah, Gulf of Honduras. It's close, they're close. And the old man, you know, old fishermen are no longer fishing there. You know, they just sit around giving advice. That's what old people are supposed to do. Anyway. And so they would have the little flask. And every time they'd take a little sip. What the hell? There must be some alcohol or something like that. There's no alcohol. Well, maybe some alcohol or anything. I don't know. But real bitters. Real bitters. Herbs. Look, the whole two columns were for herbs. Herbs, herbs, herbs. Anyway, leave that alone. That's what I'm calling. So I woke up in one, as you used to do. And uh, every, as you said, do, well, I do my stuff. Da, 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 da. Then I went back to I went back to sleep. I went, I went back to nap. Let's put it that way. Cat napping. Let's put it that way. Then I woke up again. It was later, right? And uh, so then I then I checked my phone, you know, because I don't my my phone, you know, my my device. I don't deal with it. You know what I mean? I just no, I don't. And that when I'm not at night, I just turn it off completely. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So the first thing I see is this because I, I watch this certain things that I, I pay attention to. Like, like uh, one of my favorite people is Max Kaiser. Kaiser Report, you know, with Stacey Herbert and Max Kaiser. <sighs> okay, let me just take a little bit with Max. Just a little bit with Max. I found Max because I was in 2014 when I was in. Uh, at, um, we were at. A, we, we were at. This was in in uh, Li, um, Livingston in Alice uh, in in. In, uh, oh, at the Caney in, in uh, the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. And I was at this big, I had this, there used to be a guest house and they had TVs in all the room. I don't watch TV, but they had TVs up and And they had RT. Yeah, Russian TV. Well, which you don't have in it. Well, you, I guess you do have it in the United States, but I don't know how you get it because every time I'm checking and trying to check it out, like from from from, from Virginia, what have you can't, it's not only a thing. You have the regular stuff all the time. The, you, you, the cable people, you know, but they don't have this other stuff. But Max was on RT, and he was just, he was just a, a, a loose cannon, a wing nut, you know. In other words, my kind of person, right? Okay, so Max is going, he's I'm going like, what is, who is this guy? You know, I just, whatever he was saying, some, some financial stuff, I didn't care. I just was entertained by Max. So he has a half hour program, it's three times a week, um, a Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. They're trying to push it up to four times a week. I don't care, you know. Well, I say three is cool, but four would be all right. But I'd say they stay to the three. But then again, this time and time and age, maybe four would be, hey, four, okay, I, I'd switch. Four. <laughs> four times for, for Kaiser Report a week. And uh, But the way it is, it's like a half hour, say it's a half hour, and the first half, the first 15 minutes, whatever it is, that he usually, uh, uh, Stacy reads some headlines that she's put up with, she always has data and graphs, but then he's he uh, opines the word I learned because you know the opinion they just say opinion. anyway he talks about whatever she talked about or you know illuminates further whatever she, she, she's talking about and then the say so he goes crazy sometimes he, has, he used to have plucky the, the thing and then he, all kinds of little gadgets and then he starts going off and yells at this thing you know and go throw chairs around okay but you know he does stuff that's that, that, that I'm like well that's interesting you know how when you when you, I don't know if you travel a lot if you travel a lot what you realize when you're out of your 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 home situation and you meet all these other people in the world as you travel you will find out in different cultures you have the same kind of people you have in your culture which is like you have your your your, your robbers your thieves your you know your politicians your okay I named all the bad people I was going to say bankers next so I was gonna keep on going but you have all kinds of people in your in your thing okay. And what you realize that, you know, hey, 
my tribe, beyond my immediate tribe, I have some other tribe members all over the world, and they 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 think the same way I do. And da 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 da. So end up you end up, especially in this modern world, hooking up with with things. So let me put it this way: I'm not saying that me and Max are saying that's nowhere near, but we have this. It's the same kind of. Uh, uh, it's like a, uh, I, I call it like a uh, like a Mark Twain thing. It's it's some sort of some kind of a sarcasm, some sort of, it's almost, I don't want to say superior kind of look, because it's kind of strange, it's kind of strange, it's on a border. But this whole thing, like, this is this is so ironic, it is it is downright sardonic. Okay, no, don't just throw words in there, because it can sound good. Anyway, so I'm looking at it, and the, and the red line, the headline he has for this, for, 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 what, is this today, Saturday? Whatever day this is, <laughs> they post it up. Um, Thursday, or whatever day it is, I'm I've lost. I'm I'm the, I'm in, I'm quarantined. I don't know. I'm sheltered. I don't know what day it is. So it says, you know, dead jubilee for bankers. Bankers. I don't go like what? <laughs> Ooh, huh? <laughs> and uh, the reason why I say that because for the last less less than a year, I've been talking about a dead. What I, I guess I heard on, on Kaiser report too about a dead jubilee. In other words. If, if, if say black people get reparations, I'm talking about ADS, people get reparations. Well, it's not going to do us any good. It's all or, because they put us in such a debt thing that even if you get your reparations, or if everybody, say UBI, let's leave rep- 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 reparations alone. Everybody gets UBI. Well, if everybody gets UBI and you have this 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 grouping of people, ADOS, that's been set upon and not been, then that's not going to do any good because all they're going to do is take that UBI to pay off their debt. No, you get a debt jubilee. We get a debt jubilee on top of the on top of the UBI. That's my that's one of my, my my answers for for reparations. Anyway, so look at the same. So his 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 guest is, is uh, Dr. Michael Hudson. I think he's the one who wrote, wrote the book uh, "Listen Liberal" that the liberals don't listen to. You know, uh, yeah. you know how white people are. They kind of eh. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, when I say white people, I actually mean white mentality. There's a certain white mentality. Okay, I'm not going to talk about white people that that sets people off. And so Michael Hudson was talking about, but he 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 he, he talked about one thing. Like he came on saying, like I like to go to the the, the uh, the core of the matter, you know, the the, the wherever the, the the wherever the things where it started, close to where it started, because you never can tell exactly where it started. I miss times you can't. Okay, so um, that's a tissue, or something like that. I need a tissue. I need to blow my nose. I need to blow my nose. It's still morning when I wake up. I do all that stuff, but still, whatever. Excuse me. And so I used to say, well. When 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 Eisenhower did that term um, military industrial complex, right? I was always curious about that. Then years later, later, I found out that he had wrote the thing. He wrote it's like in a speech, you know, his last speech before. But what he had wrote, he had wrote the congressional military industrial complex. In other words, you have the politics, then you have the military, and then, um, um, uh, uh, rather, politics, then you. Uh, Congressional, uh, uh, congressional military industrial yeah then you have the military then 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 industry and when they say industry they don't really mean your know, mom or pop store they actually mean like you know big you make you know you make you make stuff big big a lot of stuff for a lot of people and so that's what he did but they struck that congressional out for whatever reason so I'm listening to Michael Hudson this morning and he talks about um, yeah they used to have socialism called it was called state in in, in like the um, the late 19 19- Late 19th century? I guess the late 1800s, 19th century, 1800s? Yeah, yeah. The late 1800s had a thing called uh, a state socialism. <laughs> socialism for the state, right? But in that state, what state socialism was, it was an alliance. If you, whatever, he didn't say alliance, I'm saying alliance. It was a thing, uh, a, 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 a scheme, a thing, between basically the government, which would be your congressional, the, the the military and the heavy industry. That is what we have right now. The congressional, military, industrial complex. That's what's running everything. And, and if you look at all those things, congressional, well, you, ha- you have to be almost a, a darn near millionaire to be in, in, well, at least for the Senate, you know, which controls a lot of stuff. You, know, you certainly have to be a millionaire to be in the Senate, but in other these things, you have to have a lot of money, right? So that that takes you your, your government, you know, so so where you get the money from? From the people who got the money, you know, now the government has the money, but the, but you are the government, you know? Okay, and the government's giving that money to the military, so the military has the money, and which means that they, the, the companies, when I say military, I mean the, the companies that, that supply the military, let's put it that way. Well, they, they they get their money from 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 some other people, right? Oh, okay. Then of course you have the the industry, you know. So the militaries get their money from from the Congress, 
in the Congress of all millionaires. And then you have the, the heavy industry, which have gotten all kinds of deals, you know, from Congress, from government, right? And, 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 and plus, you know, they just they just know people because all these people remember all these people go to the same elite schools. If they don't, at least somehow they, they meet the same people, they run around the same circle. So when they look at stuff, they don't look at stuff like you or I, because, you know, hey, man, if eight, if there's 24 hours in a day. Right. And uh, eight and eight is what, 16. And and sixteen of those hours, you know, what I mean, I said, and, and say eight of those hours you got to sleep. I'll make like you don't, know, so it's not this. Up. So you have you have you have sixteen more hours, and out of those sixteen hours, if ten of those hours you're spending with your 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 peoples, you know, the people that you're doing the bidding for, <laughs> then 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 you have to, of course you have to eat and do that. So how many hours you actually spend with your constitu- constituency who, who elected you? You see. And if you believe your constituency are the people that's, that, that's making, helping you stay in office, that's your constituency. That's, that's what it is. We have to be honest about it. So what am I saying? I'm saying that the kind of socialism defense that, that Bernie's talking about or whatever have you, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. It's like the kind of capitalism people come and say, oh, capitalism or, or free market or whatever. It doesn't exist. It hasn't existed for very long. For, a, for most of my life, it hasn't existed. Let's put it that way. All right? So... So, so, so what are we saying? So we now, so what happens is if you see right now, people are getting bailed out without any question are the, are the real estate and the bankers. Okay, wait a second. Isn't Donald Trump part of the real estate class? And don't all the, all the laws, you understand? So in other words, the people that we keep on electing or put into place or, or in place to have the, 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 be there in Congress or in banking or the military or in, 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 in industry, all these people, um, they get into socialism without any question. No, they have to go through no what they call means. No, no way. No, they have to go through no hoops to get their to get their money. They automatically loads of money. Now, whereas you, you want your little thousand dollars or your dollar whatever have you can't do that. In fact, if you're homeless, you ain't got and you ain't got no bank account, whatever have you. You're real. Or if you didn't file your tax, you're real. You're really, you know, what I'm saying like that. So everything is set up for these folks. And, and then, but, but who pulls the strings of the of the government, of the military, you know, of the heavy industry? It's all they have been consolidated everything into the banking, the banksters. I call them the banksters. So you, in one end, you 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 elected somebody that that's into real estate, but the other end, all these other people are hooked up to Wall Street. That's like how Wall Street keeps on being bailed out because that's their people that bail them out. If it was your family, wouldn't you bail your own family out? If it was your people's, wouldn't you bail your own people's out first? If you ever got, in fact, let's take the money from the poor, the the, the, the downtrodden, and give it to help our bailout. That's what they do. And we like idiots. Okay, let me let me let me, let me try and straighten this out just a little. We like idiots. I'm taking it. I don't get it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I guess I do get it because, you know, it's easy to control control a, a small, very small group of people and control a whole large people because as soon as you get a large group of people, then you got your people. Well, let's have a prayer. Let's pray to Jesus. Oh, forget you. This, they're not praying to Jesus. Then why are you praying to Jesus every time you go, oh, let us pray to Jesus? No, they're not doing that. So why you keep on doing that? <sighs> peoples, peoples, peoples. Anyway, let me, you know, we're still in the pandemic. I'm still being sheltered. Let me just drink some water. This water. And hope. Hey, look. Hope that you are, you know, in a, in a, in a secure location. When I say secure, it's away from the germs and, and this other, and the other, and the, and the germs that keep on, I, I guess you got to get out because the germs that, that, that are infected our, 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 our system, that, that are, uh, are, are predatory to us, to the system that, that we are under this banking system, they keep on growing. They keep on evolving. And, and what's happening is as they evolve, they're just like the virus. The virus is opportunistic on, on, on whatever, whoever is around. Well, they, the, this seg- segment of, can't even call them, these segment of beings, can't call them humans, these segment of beings who keep on preying on other human beings, this is the time. They, we got to get rid of them. This, this, this mentality, right? This banking this, I don't this predatory mentality. It's got to go. Don't you understand? It has got to leave. The only way it makes it leave is either you have to ignore it and it'll, it'll uh, prey upon the husband and die and don't feed it anymore, right? Or you got to, or you got to chop it out. You know, we may be a small axe and you a large tree, but we can chop you down. Guarantee we can chop you down. No apologies to, to the, the whalers and stuff like that. 
Anyway, so that's it for me. T from the Patterson Take the Trinity Repair. Let you know what I only suspect from it. It's an undisclosed location. That's all I'm going to tell you.